Good morning, everybody. It's Kim. If you are watching the replay, thanks for being here. You are looking at some cookers, and Kathy's here. Good morning, good morning. I'm going to, hey. Turn the camera around and say good morning. Hey, Gila, welcome. Hello, hello, you guys. I am, it's so funny, because last week I was uh, periscoping from Texas. Today I am in Poughkeepsie, New York. Good morning, Gila. I, uh, I came up here to Poughkeepsie to a trainer's house who I am friends with. I've only ever met him on Facebook, but I'm about to meet him in person. Yeah, it's cold, but look, there's no snow here. I don't know what happened. I was driving north of New York City. I'm about an hour and a half north of New York City right now. And about 40 minutes ago, all of a sudden there was no snow. <laughs> no snow all of a sudden, which was kind of cool. So I'm here to do a workshop. There's some dog trainers that are gonna be here. And my goal, especially with my background as a dolphin trainer, I'm super, super proficient in using positive reinforcement effectively. And so that's what I'm here to do today. I'm helping dog trainers who are balanced, meaning they're happy, they're, they're happy, willing, able to communicate to a dog when they're doing something right, but also when they're doing something wrong. And my goal, thanks Gila, my goal is to make sure that um, all dog trainers out there that want to learn more about positive reinforcement will have an opportunity to do so. Hey there, Scott. Good morning. Hey. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Alexi? Alec Alexi? Alex I can't pronounce your name. Uh, essential. Lots of confusion on that. I know. People think using positive reinforcement should be so simple. Um, really, like your dog does something right, you give him something that he likes. How hard could that be? Um, and in all honesty, it is pretty hard. People do it wrong when you're really trying to make an effort to use positive reinforcement in working with your dog. It is super, super simple to make some really common mistakes. Almost everybody does it. Dog owners and dog trainers alike do it. They end up inadvertently reinforcing things they don't want in their attempt to use positive reinforcement. So I have an awesome resource on my website. If you guys, thanks Gila, if you guys ha have it already, that's awesome. If you don't have it, I'm gonna recommend that you head over to my website, which the link is in my bio here on Periscope, if you can't remember, but it is my business name, which is pawsandpossibilities.com. Awesome, I also created an online dog training program called Manners Matter, and inside that program, it also teaches the same information about how effective it is to use positive reinforcement in your communication with your dog. So it really sets up a way to be able to communicate, to let your dog know exactly when they have done something correctly. Thank you, Gila, pawsandpossibilities.com. There's a free resource right smack in the middle of the first page on the website. You can't miss it. It's, it's a free download about uh, if you want to avoid this one common but critical mistake that everybody makes when they're training their dog. So that's it. I'm gonna have a busy day here today in Poughkeepsie, New York, sharing this information with other dog trainers who are interested in uh, increasing their skill set, getting a little bit better at training dogs, communicating clearly to their dogs. Uh, so in my opinion, awesome, thanks for being here everybody. My opinion, um, positive reinforcement is the best tool out there that you can use to teach your dog how to do something. So if you're using, um, absolutely Gila, if you're using any kind of corrections and you get your dog to stop doing something, that's great. Positive reinforcement used properly is going to be the absolute best tool you have to then move forward in teaching them exactly what you want them to do. So that's what today is all about, how to maximize your use of positive reinforcement in your dog training business. So uh, we'll have a good time. I, it's a little chilly out here, so I'm gonna head on in, but I just wanted to touch base with you guys and share that with you. I'm pretty excited. I will try to take some pictures and share those on my Facebook group page. So if you're not already following me also on Facebook, you can do that too. Obviously it's facebook.com forward slash pause and possibilities. Awesome. I hope wherever you are, you are warmer than me right now. It's 25 degrees here in Poughkeepsie, New York, but it is well worth it. And by the way, 
to see these mountains up here in, hey Felix, to see these mountains up here in New York is just breathtaking. So I'm excited to be here. I can't wait to get started. And uh, Felix is ready for me to head on in and get the show on the road. So if you're just joining, watch the replay. I was just sharing about a workshop that I'm doing today all about positive reinforcement. Alrighty, you guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I will, thank you Yorkie.